in this video uh, i am going to explain the 2.5 generation that is it is an intermediate generation between uh, the second generation and the third generation that is between 2g and 3g after the introduction or the establishment of second generation mobile communication or cellular network system the need for increased uh, data rate or uh, the high speed data transfer or the requirement for high speed data transfer has increased and as a result the network providers uh, implemented a new technology which is known as 2.5 generation and the mobile technology termed as GPRS that means general packet radio service it is termed as 2.5G and uh, it also included edge that means enhanced data rates for GSM evolution that is it is an enhanced version of second generation or GSM network and uh, in this 2.5 generation there are several special features that are HTTP that hypertext transfer protocol and it supports the WAP wireless access protocol in which or through which the web pages can be viewed on a small screen or a mobile phone or a handheld device it is possible to view a web page and uh, it is resulted in the development of mobile commits or m commerce and this 2.5 generation is a packet switched communication and can use uh, the existing features of GSM and CDMA uh, that is 2.5G it is uh, between 2, 2G and 3G it is simply the GPRS general packet radio service and it also use edge that is enhanced data rate for GSM evolution it also supports HTTP and uh, it you can use the existing infrastructure of GSM and CDMA and coming to the third generation wireless telephone network uh, it uh, removes the distinction between this cordless telephones and cellular telephones and uh, a universal uh, device that is our existing mobile telephone or existing personal communicator or a personal handset can provide access to a variety of service such as voice data or video communication service and this third generation uses broadband service or broadband access and uh, it can carry all types of information uh, like uh, any formats that is voice data or even video can be sent through a third generation mobile network and they can operated in the densely populated areas uh, they can serve both uh, stationary and vehicular Usage at high speeds that is a high speed is your speeder than second generation or 2.5 generation and the main characteristics or main features of 3G networks are always on connectivity and it uses IP connectivity which is a packet based connectivity and uh, multimedia services are also available that it streaming of audio and video is also available in the third generation and uh, email with uh, full fledged attachments such as powerpoint files or any documents can be attached through the email and instant messaging with uh, audio and video clips can be transferred using this third generation wireless networks and uh, access to different corporate applications and uh, many applications such as mobile tv video on demand or video conferencing telemedicine are ex uh, the some of the special features of this 3g networks coming to the fourth generation wireless telephone networks it is emerged as a data optimized technology that means it can uh, promise a speed improvements up to tenfold over than the existing 3g technology and it is basically an extension of the third generation network with more bandwidth and service than the third generation network the main expectation of 4g is basically high quality audio and video and the transmission rates is above uh, or up to 20 mbps higher than that of uh, 
थ्री और थर्ड जनरेशन सेलुलर नेटवर्क एंड दिस फोर्थ जनरेशन और फोर जी यूटिलइस पैकेट स्विचिंग ओवर इंटरनेट लैंड और वैन वैड नेटवर्क वै वो ओवर ई पी दट वि ओ ई पी इज यूटिलइस इन दि फोर्थ जनरेशन वयरल टेलीफोन नेटवर्क दट ऑल अब दि डिफरेंट जनरेशन ऑफ मोबाइल और सेलुलर नेटवर्क